Do you know what I find interesting? A person can call you so many rude things. Like they can falsely accuse you. They can insult you. They can say very vile things to you. And uh, they may expect you to forgive them when they say sorry or want you to forgive them. But if you come back and accuse them falsely, not even accuse them falsely, but really speak about the way they are. Or let me make this simple. Let's say you insult them back. Let's say that you give them a taste of their own medicine. What I find interesting, I believe some people will hold a grudge against you, even though, even though they have constantly accused you falsely, constantly said mean things to you, constantly said vile things to you, but they will hold up the few bad things that you have done to them greater than the constant bad things they do to you. I find that very interesting. And they may choose to remember that for years. Like they may remind you of it so much of the time but if you tell them how they constantly treat you they may get offended they may gaslight you and say that is not true like i believe some of those people are very selfish or possibly they can be, some of them probably are traumatized. I think you have to be traumatized. If you can constantly treat a person wrong, but not really see it as much, but if someone does maybe a piece of what you do to them to you you make it like the centerpiece of your life i think a person like that is uh struggling with some other type of issues if you are like this a person who can do so much bad to a person but get extremely mad if they protest back if you are like that you really need to change behavior like that is very bad behavior like that is very bad and you may say to me kevin when i was younger this happened to me that happened to me i did not feel loved i did not feel cared for so because of that i am going to put my frustrations out on people i am going to put my trauma out on people like the bad things my parents did to me i am going to put it out on people and that is wrong that is wrong. You may fear abandonment. You may fear rejection. And because you fear those things, it may influence you to act very bad. And that needs to stop. 
Accept what happened to you when you were younger. Forgive whoever you need to forgive and move on. And you may say to me, Kevin, you know, it is not that easy. Like, how long is it really going to take you? Like, you may daydream about the bad things that happened to you, but how was that going to help you? How was that, like, what is it really doing for you? You need to release it, let go, and move on. Because what sense is there to hold on to your pain and continue hurting, hurting innocent people? Because I believe that is what you are doing. If you are not, I believe for some people, if you haven't healed from the past, you are probably hurting other people. And that is not right. Like, you are so concerned of self. Not so much the harm you are doing to other people, but you are concerned about yourself about what someone has done to you, even though you constantly do bad things to people, like it's as if you don't understand cause and effect. Maybe if you stop being bitter, maybe if you stop being unforgiving and move on, maybe things can get better for you. If you do things to people, some people are going to attack back. So you can't look at the attack on you as undeserved when you are the one that provoked it. Imagine that, provoking someone, then blaming someone for the attack. Makes no sense. Stop attacking people, provoking people. Stop that. If you act very ugly with someone, chances are they are going to act ugly with you. But you probably haven't matured much back when you were hurt when you were younger you know like i was saying before you are concerned about uh what people are doing to you you are concerned about your wants and needs you are concerned about yourself and kind of block out other people if that makes any sense. I can do this to you, but you can't do that to me. I can say this to you, but you can't say that to me. I can accuse you falsely, but you can't accuse me falsely. Why? Because, you know, uh, I feel like I can say whatever I want to say, and you need to just take it and listen to me even though i am wrong that is what is that i can see if you are a child but if you are an adult and think in that manner to me that is immaturity so much immaturity Perhaps you want what you say to be validated, which that is normal. 
But if you get mad, if someone doesn't agree and begin acting very immature by raising your voice and start to speak in a very senseless way, saying things that aren't true and begin to, you know, like throwing a hissy fit, like just uncontrollable. That is immaturity. That is acting like a child. And if any of us are acting like that, we need to stop that. We need to stop that. If you do wrong to people, everyone is not a Christian. Everyone is not just going to take it on the cheek and move on. Some people may attack back. I, I've had, I've had more than one person speak to me about some things, telling me what people are doing to them and blah, 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 blah. But I found that in some cases, they are the ones that provoked that person, provoked it. And if I were to bring it up, like, what did you do? They may get an attitude toward me. Insanity. I think that is insanity. Cause and effect. But um, let me stop here, though. I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.